What's up YouTube? I'm Rob Anderson. Thanks for checking out another one of my videos. Um, if you're new here, this channel is about publishing, self-publishing, audiobooks, Kindle books, uh, making money online, passive income, that kind of thing. If you're new here, uh, be sure to uh, like, give me a thumbs up, help me out with YouTube, uh, give me a comment um, in, the, in the comments below, turn on bell notifications, uh, really appreciate it. So I haven't been super active on YouTube and I apologize. I've just been kind of focusing on a lot of my students and other things, but I do really value your support and wanted to give um, an income update and kind of my, my one step as the um, title implies about making 10K. And it's not really, the one step isn't really like, it's not really like a, a tactic or a trick or a hack. It's more like a high level entrepreneurship type thinking. Um, but it, it's really made the difference uh, for me. And I think that it's an important um, thing to kind of understand um, if you wanna, you know, you know, make $5,000 a month, 10,000 or whatever, so you, you don't have to quit your job. Well, so, you, so that you can, if that's what you want. So, you know, what I'll say is a lot of the advice out there for, you know, um, making money and stuff like that is geared towards things that work slowly, um, such as like, you know, index funds or stocks. Um, and I mean, I have index funds, I have stocks, you know, they're, they're proven, they're safe. You, you can't go wrong with that, you know, but if you listen to somebody like David Ramsey or somebody like that, he'll tell you to, you know, invest in an index fund or a growth index fund and stuff like that. And that is really awesome. Like I said, I have them. But the thing is, you know, index fund investing will, it, 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 it'll make you wealthy over a long period of time. If you're 25 and you put in that $500 a month in your index fund, by the time you're 65, you know, you'll be, have a really good retirement. But what if you wanna shorten that? Um, if you don't want to work till you're 65, say you want to work till you're 35 or 40, or say you're 25 and you want to be able to quit your job by the time you're 30, how can you shorten that window, right? Uh, $500 a month um, in an index fund is not going to let you quit your job in five years. It'll set you up for, you know, standard retirement age, but what if you want to shorten that? Well, a lot of the, um, a lot of the uh, fire people, the, uh, Financial independence retire early. Uh, they'll tell you to just just invest way more than your standard five hundred dollars a month. You know they'll tell you to invest half or three quarters of your paycheck. Right? Uh, if you invest four thousand dollars a month um, in your index fund, you know you can retire way earlier than sixty five. That's what people like that'll tell you. And so that's cool. Um, and that 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 is a, another great suggestion. But again, how do you get that four thousand dollars a month? right? Or what if you do have a good job where you actually can afford to invest a lot of money, but you don't really like that job, right? You want a job you like. How can you get to zero to 5k or 10k in something that you actually enjoy doing and how can you do it fast? So uh, that's what I'm going to talk about. Um, and the answer is mastering one platform. Mastering one platform. Well, what do I mean by that? Well, I mean mastering a platform like Amazon, selling on Amazon. Um, of course, Audible, that's what this channel is about. But it, it could be any platform. Now, what do I mean? It could be Etsy, Snapchat, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. Um, it could be any of those things. eBay, Facebook, uh, Craigslist. You name it, okay? You master one of those platforms and you could be at the zero to 5K or the zero to 10K mark way faster than if you just, you know, invested $500 a month in an index fund. Well, what do I mean by master? And a lot of people would say that what I'm advocating is really risky. 
And here's what I have to say about that. Um, nobody, there is no way to make a lot of money or even a decent amount of money really fast with zero or even low risk. There's just not. You, know, you, you can't buy one share of Tesla stock or invest in an index fund and be able to quit your job five years later. It just, it just doesn't work that way. Everybody that's really wealthy or you know has money has, and as an entrepreneur has taken some calculated risks. And that's what I mean, I mean calculated. So I'm not, at, I'm in no way, in no way advertising betting the farm on an Amazon business or an Audible business. Um, that would be stupid. But I'll give you a scenario. Let's say I'm a, I am advocating taking a calculated risk with say 20% of the money you have. Let's say you're 25 and you have $10,000 and you want to start a business. Well, taking $2,500 of your $10,000 savings to start something that you have believe has a good chance to work, that is a risk worth taking. That's a calculated risk um, that I think is wise. Uh, for me, I did that. I spent, um, I think, I think I've talked about it before. I spent ten thousand um, dollars on uh, my first Amazon private label product. I bought a uh, chair wheels, office chair wheels from China. If you can even believe that. And I, I, I there, it was risky, but it was money I could afford to lose at the time. I had a mentor I super believed in that would guide me, and it was a business model and a product that I really believed in. So it was a calculated risk and it paid off, you know, a thousandfold. Um, but it was calculated. So if you have $10,000 and you want to start your own business, I do recommend, you know, try, spend $2,500 of it. Launching a product on Amazon, publishing an audiobook, investing in training to help you learn this, investing in a mentor or other business models, you know, starting an Etsy store, something like that. Now, why am I saying to master one of these platforms? Well, it really is, you know, you take Amazon. You could start your own website, right? But how are you gonna get your own customers, right? If you could leverage the power of Amazon to get your own customers for e-commerce, that's the way to go. Same with Audible, right? That's what I do. I leverage the power of Audible to sell audiobooks to people. Um, you could sell your own audiobooks on your own website, but that's gonna be really hard. Or, you know, Instagram, right? You, if you're a wedding photographer or something, you know, you could go and find your own clients or this and that, but why not leverage the power of Instagram to find people that are looking for wedding photographers, wedding vid videographers, that kind of thing. The other reason um, mastering a platform is important is because well, it's not, it's, it's more because there's levels to it. So it's important to focus on one platform and master it. And that's a key concept. Master that one platform. Whatever you decide, master that one. Because there's levels to the platform and there's levels to online business. You know, most people will just, they'll throw a product up on Amazon and they'll take pictures and they'll be like, why isn't it selling? But they don't realize that there's high level tactics. You know, there's the Amazon Vine program, the Amazon Early Reviewer program to help you get reviews. There's things called brand registry. Um, there's things such as being a vendor for Amazon, um, where you sell your product directly to Amazon. There's high level pay per click advertising strategies. And you're not going to really make decent money on a platform until you master those fundamentals. Same with Audible. You know, you can't just throw up an audiobook on Audible and make money. Although you actually can, I actually have done that, and my students have done that, um, because Audible is a fresh, more fresh platform. But even then, sometimes it takes more work. You know, you have to uh, understand the pricing structure of Audible. You have to understand how to get reviews. You have to understand, you know, how to get a good cover design made. And you can't just throw up content and, you know, it's like throwing a Hail Mary in football and just hoping somebody in the end zone catches it. No, you want to have more of a, you know, a playbook. You know, you want to be like a, a Bill Belichick 
right, or a Sean Payton, if anybody watches football, and you have a playbook and you understand deep level. You know, most people, they're just throwing Hail Marys on online business. But they're not getting down deep, you know? You, they're not really understanding at, you wanna be like a head coach of online business and just really understand if that makes sense. Uh, the other reason that's advantage is once you master one platform, it becomes infinitely easier to master the second platform. Okay, for instance, I know somebody who sells on Amazon tons, $20 million a year. This man has mastered Amazon, right? Um, and he on the side, just on the side, is able to sell $200,000 a year on Etsy, right? And that would be a great business for most of us, but that's just a side thing. It's because his learning curve was so much shorter, right? Same with me. Once I mastered private label selling on Amazon, I was able to apply that to Audible and Kindle Publishing, which I do now. It's like if you learn Spanish. If you're fluent in Spanish and you learn Spanish, you know what it takes and you understand, you know, verb conjugation. So learning Italian is a thousand times easier than somebody who's never learned Spanish. Now, another, another tip I'll say is that whatever platform you choose, it will be a lot easier the newer and more fresh the platform is. Okay, so for instance, Google. Google's a platform you could master, but Google has been around a long time. It's a very mature platform. You know, doing search engine optimization, and SEO, a digital agency for Google, in my opinion, would not be easy. I would much rather prefer to start a TikTok agency. Lower competition, easier algorithms, more organic reach. You get that early adopter benefit. That's what I would recommend doing. That's why I'm on Audible, right? It's a, it's a fresher, newer platform. Um, algorithms are easier, less competition, less saturation. It's easier. So that would be my tip number two. The plat choose the platform you're gonna master carefully. Um, and you'll have an easier time if you choose one that's a little fresher and you'll get that early adopter benefits. Like if you, you know, if you started an Instagram page in 2011, it's a whole lot easier to do that then than it would be now. Okay, so that's one thing that can really help. And then my last tip is, say you do master, right, one of these platforms, you start making 10,000, 15, 20,000 dollar a month on Audible, Amazon, you name it. That's when you start to go from wealth creation to wealth preservation. And then, in my opinion, then you can do those fire things. You can invest that $4,000 a month in an index fund or get into real estate or a more conservative type of investment, right? So once you master that one, then you can invest in some more traditional, more stable assets, if you will. So that's my recommendation. But if you want to learn how to master one of the platforms that I'm recommending, Amazon and Audible for publishing, audiobooks, um, ebooks, paperbacks, um, you know, link in the bio um, for my training program. Um, we have a really nice community and you're welcome. No obligation call, sign up if it's not for you. Um, all good. Um, but before I conclude, I forgot I need to do my income report. Um, this is for October 2020. Um, I made 11,000, uh, over $11,000 in royalties. So uh, I'm pretty happy about that. Um, it's just a really nice, one of my income streams, just, just rolling in. Um, that doesn't include um, eBooks or paperbacks, that's just audio. So super happy about that. And um, yeah, I've been, people have been asking me to make an income update video, so I'm doing that for you guys. And um, yeah, that's it. So thanks for checking out this video. Um, I'll see you on the next one. Give me a thumbs up. Um, and thanks, thanks for tuning in.